I'm a Pheasants Forever volunteer down in Nobles County, Minnesota, which I've done for more than 30 years. Spend my days working a job I really like, and when that's done, I try to get people connected to the outdoors. That's really what I'm about. Scott Rawl is the president of the Nobles County chapter of Pheasants Forever. His list of conservation awards and accomplishments is lengthy, but they're not what he's most proud of. I hooked up with Warriors Never Give Up and, and made the connection for this Veterans Appreciation Hunt, which we're now in our third year. To prepare for the event, Scott has assembled a group of more than 30 volunteers. I have people that drive four hours or more to come here and volunteer for this event because it changes, it changes them. I've heard stories where almost everybody in the room was teared up. You know, tragic stories, many of them. I uh, like doing this, one, because I like the dog work, but two, giving back to the people who have served us and keep this country safe is a, a big deal for me. Oh, rooster! rooster. There! I nice shooting. And I have yet to have a volunteer that participated in this event in year one or two that didn't come back for year three. And I think that that they will continue to do that because they all share the same love and respect for our country and the veterans that protect it. Uh, yes, I did uh, 21 years in the United States Army, uh, 3rd Special Forces Group. I retired as a Chief Warrant Officer too. They're from here from Utah and California. We had them from Pennsylvania. We had one from a diving instructor from Key West, Florida last year. I was in the Army, Army Aviation. They come from all over, and what we do is we provide them an opportunity for those veterans to get together, and it's a lot easier to tell another veteran your story or your struggle than it is for, you to, for them to tell it to anybody else. Yeah, I served uh, in the Marine Corps from 1994 to 2001. I did two enlistments. Wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do after graduation, so Marine Corps sounded like a good option. Um, I think it played a big part in just kind of who I am today. Definitely changed my life. Uh, to me, I just think it's really important for, for helping with the morale of the vets. Um, it's, just, it's just nice getting like-minded individuals out. A lot of our younger vets especially are coming back from deployments really struggling with PTSD. One of the other gentlemen that stated last night, uh, you know, a lot of people aren't aware, but 22 vets a day commit suicide. It's just a, an issue I think that hits home with a lot of us veterans. And if something like this can prevent just, you know, one of those deaths from happening, I think to me it means everything. It's so important. I was a Green Beret, uh, Army Special Forces, uh, I think 12 or 13 years in the hostage rescue unit, uh, B-23 as it's known, kind of an infamous unit, and then uh, spent the, the, the other eight or nine years uh, on uh, a few different ODA uh, operational detachment alphas, which is the Special Forces team. And then my last two years, I commanded the uh, third group, uh, third Special Forces group sniper school. I had never taken part in any of these before because I always said, you know, I, you know, I'm a fully disabled vet, whatever, but there's guys out there that are extremely disabled. And every time they say, oh, it's a veteran or a wounded veteran hunter or whatever, I said, you know, there's, there's young privates out there that came back with no arms. Let those guys go do their business. Let them go have fun. You know, I'm, I'm still doing my, I do guns every day. What do I need to do that for? You know, I don't want to take up another slot, but, uh, you know, I, I finally gave in. I said, yeah, I'll go do it. And I had just an amazing time hanging out with just some of the best people on the planet. And, uh, Getting to be around other veterans. I got my buddy Josh is here and Dustin here, all these guys, the guys that I know that I talk to on the regular. And so it's, you know, you don't get to do that stuff all the time once you get out. And when you're in the service, you're, you're stuck with your buddies, whether you want to be or not. 
But then when you get out, that vacuum that it creates is why you see a lot of guys, you know, unfortunately killing themselves or drinking themselves to death, doing other stuff because they don't have that that bond that you get when you live with your, it's a family. So when you lose that family, you know, it sucks a little bit. It's a brotherhood. It's just like being being in the military never, never stops when you get out of the military. So it's just important to do things like these, to be there for your fellow veterans. Coming to do things like this keeps guys motivated. It's a, it's a great thing. I'm super excited about it. So birds or not, I don't even care. We can walk around all day and just watch the dogs. I'd be happy, so. Come on. We might have pushed one in here, Todd. So we'll just see if a really smart one ran through here. Well, it is uh, a camaraderie to be with other veterans. You talk about things of the past, and uh, sometimes it brings up things that you don't want to think about. <clears throat> but yet, in, the, in that process, I think that it's a good healing thing because it uh, makes, you, makes you think, why am I here? And some of the other ones <clears throat> didn't make it back. So what's the difference between that? And I, I really think that uh, God wasn't through with me yet in my life. When I got, I didn't think about it when I was in Vietnam, but when I got back home, I go, you know what? Well, no matter what happens in my life from here on out, the rest is gravy. Because every day you get up and you go over in, in Nam, you thought, well, this is my last day. You know, you're getting shot at all the time. And we did get shot down twice. <clears throat> Um, I got wounded with some RPG shrapnel. And uh, so when you go through that and you come back and you know, I've lived through, I lived through hell. And uh, so every day after that is gravy. No matter what happens, it's gravy. Cancer, whatever. God has got a plan for me. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm still living it. Ooh, it's getting tall again. My son that's a canine officer, I talked to him. Rooster, rooster, rooster. Oh, good. I'm glad he got it because I was. It is my birthday today. It's a, it's a pretty meaningful day for me. Yeah, because my uh, my dad uh, um, used to take me hunting on my birthday. I'd, we'd play hooky, and uh, you know he passed away in, in January, and he was pretty proud of me for being part of Pheasants Forever, and. So when Scott called me and said, hey, do you want to come out and uh, help guide the, the veterans hunt? I said, well, it's my birthday. That seems like a pretty darn good thing to do. My dad was in the Navy um, and uh, uh, you know, the VA was pretty important during the, past, the last couple of years of his life, helping him and my mom out. So it made for this to be a pretty meaningful day for me. While the volunteers do this as a way of saying thank you, the appreciation goes both ways. Awesome. These guys, to come out here and do this when they, they themselves should be hunting and out doing, you know, with their families and stuff, to take that kind of time out, it's a big deal. So, it, they really don't probably know what a big deal it is, but it's a big deal. So, so quit asking me questions before I tear up. <laughs> you know, I, you interviewed Todd here a little while ago and he talks about tearing up, you know. I said when, when we first did this, uh, I actually graduated in 1979, registered for the draft. And there, for that period of time that I was draftable, there we had no soldiers serving in a foreign theater of war. And so I never served. But my son served four years in the Marine Corps and he saw lots of things that, were, that me and you wouldn't want to see. And I said, what can I do to replace the fact that I didn't serve? When it comes to conservation and habitat, and giving back to youth and these vets, um, there is no one that I have met that's more passionate. I never served in the armed forces, but I can certainly respect and care about the guys that did. And so that's why we do it. And it truly is a life-changing experience.